How does one get 13 kidney stones? Man, I How think that of happen? that. I think that that's that Drake. Like seven two months old, you'll get it from that shit. Then they say you uh, they say like uh, you get it from like too much dairy products and or too much like spicy food. It can be passed down genetically too though. But I eat cheese on every motherfucking thing, so it can be a combination of eating too much cheese, drinking too much oil. You know what I'm saying? It, it was just a combination of everything with me. So you had 13 at one time or 13 different times? Nah, 13 at one time. I, this, this is my second time having a motherfucker. Like last, the first time I had, uh, I was like uh, 20, I was like 20, 21. I had, uh, I think I had nine of them motherfuckers. I had passed them. Then this time I had started, I was drinking that drink like real, real heavy. So, and I picked away from that shit too. And I think that shit did that shit. And it said, uh, I had, uh, I was out there in Cali. Matter of fact, I'm chilling at the crib. My side head started hurting like a couple of days when I was in Dallas. So I had went and got some hydros and shit. Then I was like, um, I was like, damn, I need some hydros. So I had, I had flew out there to Cali to go chill. My shit just kept on hurting. I'm thinking I'm constipated or some shit like that because drinking too much drink, it'll make you it'll, uh, back you up type shit. So I'm like, damn, I'm, I'm, I got a shit because I ain't shit in a couple of days. I'm just really just trying to think of everything that was going on with me. So I, it ain't that, so I'm like, man, what the fuck? So I'm talking, my shit was hurting so bad, like I, was cra I couldn't even walk, fam. Like, I, I went and, I went and sat in the, uh, the shower and, uh, like, ran some hot water, just sitting there for a little bit. Like, my shit was just thriving. I was bald. I'm on the couch. I'm laughing with my kin fuck, them niggas like, nigga, you got this shit. Like, they just going this shit. So I'm like, man, fuck you. I said, but I'm finna go to the hospital. I called the ambulance and shit. They came and got a nigga. I got to that motherfucker, I said, man, I better see kidney stone cause that shit was just hurting so bad. That man took me down there to that, uh, get a CAT scan, and he said, you got 13 and one kidney. So, do they have to wait for you to pass it or do they have to surgically remove it? De or? Depend on how, how big they is. See, my shit wasn't that big. Like, it was just a lot of them, but it wasn't, it wasn't that big. So they gave me some medicine where I can pass them hoes. Like, last time uh, I had them hoes, first time, they had put a stent on my side cause it was one, it was kind of big. It was blocking like the line that go from my uh my bladder to my uh piss or whatever you say how you say that shit, and like I had to get like a stent in my shit, but that shit won't pass, so I had to get that shit la uh laser removed. I mean blast. Now when you pass it, you just pass it through you, urine. You dig her, yeah, yeah. Like how a, painful a stone, is that? Man, that shit hurt. That shit hurt, nigga. You, you shit. What you think? Some stone coming out your dick hole, <laughs> nigga. That shit hurt like a bitch. And, and you bet not have them short motherfucker. You gonna pass out? I swear to God, I'm in. I'm in the hospital the first time. Y'all say, man, I was the first house in the hospital like for like three, four months, bro. Just going back and forth. So another nigga like beside me, he going through the same shit. This nigga about like three hundred pounds, <laughs> six four, six five, fam. He and that bitch in his restroom trying to pass one of them hoes. That nigga fell out like the doctors had to come and they screaming for help. That shit painful, boy. Like, man, say, I can just, boy, that shit hurt. That's some most shit right there. So you pass it. What does it look like when it comes out? A stone, nigga, like a, a real <laughs> live stone. <laughs> like a real live stone. That shit fuck, boy. What is that, a, a calcium buildup or something? Yeah, too much, too much calcium and shit. That shit hurt, boy. That shit, I, that's some pain, like, boy. They say this is a, it's a male version of a pregnancy. That's what female, how that's how females be feeling when they be pregnant. Now, you passing 13 of them, was it a quick 13 or did it drag out or? Man, I don't even know. Did you know count I, them like, oh, I'm at 10, I got three nah, more? Nah, I don't even know if I, because they be so small, you don't know if you pass them. Like, sometimes you don't know if you pass them, but if they so small, you don't know if you pass them. I know my shit st stopped hurting, so I, I know I passed some of them, but I need to go to the doctor to go see if, if I still got some, though. So they give you some medicine to help you pass it. Yeah. How long do you stay in the hospital, or how long does it take for your, you know, before you start? It like it, like I say, it depends good. on how big they is. If it ain't big, if they ain't that big, they just gonna dope you up, give you some medicine, send you send you about your way, till you take the medicine to help you pass. Drink a lot of water and cranberry juice. But if it, that shit too big, like they gonna have to do like some surgery, cause they they the kid, they'll fuck you up. The laser blast. How does that work? Uh, they I think they they had put me to sleep. And they blast them hoes with a laser. I know I came about that bitch. My shit was hurting even harder. <laughs> my shit was hurting like a motherfucker. They give you some uh, hydro though. Some hydro set a nigga right though. So when you pop them, you all right. Any advice to somebody dealing with kidney stones? Man, if you drinking at all or eating too much dairy, man. I, well, I can't even say about that dairy because I don't really know. I just, I just say just don't 
eat too much calcium type shit. You know what I'm saying? But with that all, you got to drink a lot of water, bro. That shit dehydrate. That's how a lot of these niggas be having them seizures. They don't even be knowing. See, you, like, niggas from Texas, like, they know, like, that drink, you got to drink a lot of water with that shit. Like, you will be fucked up. Like, my partner will be in at the hospital for that shit. That shit will have you having seizures and everything. Like, you got to drink a lot of water, bro. Real tough. Did those kidney stone episodes uh, get you to quit drinking lean or no? I slowed up. I mean, that shit come from liquor, too, though. That shit, like, if you drinking too much liquor, that shit will cause that shit. Like, it's, it, you really got to just pay attention to what you eat and what you drink. That's all I can say. Me, I, I, I be on the go so much. I don't never really just have a home-cooked meal like that. I be on the go so much, so that shit play a big part, too, when you eat a lot of to-go food, fast food and shit. Someone told me uh, drinking a lot of iced tea can get that get you to... Yeah, tea. They say tea will fuck you up. And that's the crazy thing. Like, the first time, like, when I first got that's when I was drinking them... Uh, them bridge tea, you remember they had them dollar, the bridge tea, them hoes a dollar. We used to drink them hoes. I'm talking about you drink about three, four a day. <laughs> I know that fucked me up. That shit worse than soda. I ain't know it.